Most of the businesses we work with succeed, but that's not always the case. Recently, a Pilates and yoga studio owner had to close her doors in the Bronx, New York. Not because of slow sales and not because of a lack of interest from customers. It was actually three simple but deadly things that brought a business with a lot of potential to its knees. What happened and what can we all learn from it? Number one, answer your phone. Anytime a potential customer called the phone number on the company website, they were met with four rings and a request to leave a voicemail. Are you serious? In today's day and age, when a customer had her and a dozen other options to do business with, she didn't take advantage of them actually reaching out and requesting more information from her business. And it's not just this one company. 80% of the companies that come to us with slow sales growth have one common problem. It's not picking up their phone. Most of them will tell us that they're too busy working or making money to always answer the phone. This may be true, but it will still shut a business down quicker than anything. Some alternatives could be to hire an answering service. Pay a stay-at-home mom or dad $4 for every phone call that gets answered. There are options. If you fall into this category, believe me when I say you can increase your sales up to 10 to 20% automatically by simply being the one business out of five that the customer calls who will actually answer the phone and give them the help they need. Number two, slow follow-up. A cousin to the answer your phone problem. A lot of businesses miss out on revenue simply because they wait way too long to get back to those voicemails and email requests. One of the ways we helped the Pilates studio was by adjusting our website so it was easier for customers to use a web form to request prices, quotes, class times, and other information. Now these emails were sent directly to the owner's inbox. And we know this because we copied ourselves on every single email so we knew exactly how many per week she was receiving. This business was getting anywhere between four to seven email requests each week from prospective customers, new students who wanted to take classes. But tragically, the owner waited hours and sometimes days to get back to them. Again, always citing that she was too busy. Even worse, even though the email included the customer's phone number, the owner would simply email them back instead of actually reaching out and making a sale via the phone. This was yet one more nail in the business's metaphorical coffin. Finally, number three, lack of engagement. Everyone has been through the experience of starting to exercise more and getting back in shape, but then life and laziness take over, and the next thing you know, you're right back on the couch instead of in class, sweating your way back into shape. Too much of this happened for the studio customers as well. People would show up for class maybe two or three times and then drop off the face of the earth. The owner could have increased her retention rates if she just gamified her services to encourage loyalty and repeat business. Now, what do I mean by gamification? I mean, turn her customer's experience into more of a challenge, like a game, versus simply a business transaction. You show up for class, you give me money, you take class, you go home. She could have partnered with a local smoothie business, for example, and offered a smoothie that her own company would pay for whenever a student came to maybe five classes in a row. She could have branded shirts, gym bags, cell phone cases, whatever, to create a culture where students weren't just customers, but rather a part of an, of an exclusive group, one that thrived on the students supporting each other and looked forward to being with one another in class. In short, what she offered was, well, just a bunch of Pilates and yoga classes, and that's it. And people can get that anywhere. What would have helped her bottom line tremendously was a dose of engagement to help retain and maintain the customers she had. We all know that running a business is tough but it's not really as hard as we make it out to be. Sometimes all we need is a little dose of common sense and a huge helping of imagination to turn a sagging business into a profitable one. If you'd like to have more customers reach out to you and request your products and services without having to advertise, be sure to call us at 520-225-0123 or visit us online at mysalesformula.com. Thanks for listening.